thank you, Chairman. I have a question for Mr. Uh, two questions for Mr. Parosel. Uh, as you said, uh, Sweden, uh, Sweden receives nearly one third of all unaccompanied minors uh, that uh, apply for asylum in the European Union, which is rather funny considering that Sweden is a small country far in the north, very far from the Mediterranean and other, uh, other points of entry into the European Union. Is there something in the Swedish uh, procedures or other conditions that make Sweden uh, exceptionally attractive from the point of view of an unaccompanied minor uh, seeking for asylum? Or how do you explain this situation? You also said that you do not see unaccompanied minors as a financial burden, but rather as an investment to the future. Uh, does that mean that Sweden is not actually very concerned about this, the imbalance that you mentioned, and that Sweden should instead be rather happy with the situation? Thank you. Um, uh, somehow, to, to balance the picture, I, w I, wasn't, um, I wasn't referring only to Sweden when I said that we should, we should uh, see unaccompanied minors as an investment into the future and not only as a burden. But we have, we have a, a lot of discussions within the EMN, uh, within the migration network, that there are some countries where there are almost no asylum seekers and there are almost no unaccompanied minors arriving, and they are saying that, yes, we want to be open for highly qualified migrants uh, to, to to, to somehow uh, do something against the aging population and that people leave and, and, and emigrate uh, from those countries, instead of seeing uh, also other groups of people, uh, like, for example, asylum seekers uh, or, or, or um, unaccompanied minors, as a, as a, as a, uh, as a possibility. So, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's kind of uh, um, <clears throat> uh, frustrating for, for, for me as a researcher also, also to see. Then when it comes to, to, to Sweden, of course, it's not, always, um, um, it's, it's not always the case that we are only enthusiastic about uh, all the unaccompanied minors coming. I mean, it's, it's a big problem uh, for, the, for the municipalities. Some, uh, it, uh, it, it takes a lot of, of, of work uh, to, to provide suitable accommodation and care for unaccompanied minors, and, and uh, there's great willingness, I would say, within Sweden, but some municipalities actually oppose this very much. They don't want to, they don't want to accept uh, unaccompanied minors, and also the distribution of those unaccompanied minors within Sweden is very unbalanced. It's not only a European problem, it's also a national uh, problem within Sweden. And um, yes, we're trying uh, to, to solve uh, this problem, but uh, I, can't, I can't say that everything is, is, uh, is easy. And then the question is, of course, very big. Why are people uh, choosing Sweden uh, and, and, and not uh, other countries to a greater extent? I mean, they're often in the hands of um, of facilitators or, or, or smugglers, and they, uh, and, and, and they tell unaccompanied minors or their families where to go. And, and the result is often, is often Sweden, because it, has, it is known for a comparatively generous asylum policy. It's also known for being a very child-friendly society, and I think that's something we are, we are, we are proud of, as uh, Cecilia Wigstrom said, uh, that we are a child-friendly child society. Uh, and that's the, I think that's, that's uh, the reputation that Sweden has, and that's why many might choose Sweden. I'm not aware of, of any flaws in our procedure um, that we have or any, any problems in our asylum procedures which, which people would um, uh, directly want to, to, um, to exploit uh, and, 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 choose, and, and choose Sweden because, because we have, have kind of a, 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 a flaws in our, in our asylum procedure which make that everybody can, can, can stay. I think that's not the case. But, uh, I mean... Um, more, more objectively spoken also from a European perspective, uh, I would say that it's not obvious that all unaccompanied minors should choose Sweden, in fact. I mean, they can have a better uh, labor market uh, uh, um, uh, perspectives in other countries, uh, for example. In Sweden, it's, it's, we have comparatively high unemployment among uh, foreign nationals. We have comparatively high youth unemployment. And I know that in Germany, for example, there's a debate of making those unaccompanied minors um, a tool also for, for um, uh, 
uh, for uh, combating uh, labor shortages. Uh, they have, they, they, they are missing uh, um, uh, young people uh, to start uh, job uh, educations at, at, at uh, companies in the industry, and, and they're really looking into those uh, unaccompanied minors and, and, and uh, asking themselves whether they can can't make a bigger contribution to the German labor market. So there might be more, actually, more, uh, uh, there might be better perspectives even in other countries. For me, it's not, an, from a European perspective, not entirely obvious that everybody should choose um, uh,